children raising their voices in protest one day after Brazil announced its plan to fight organized crime. The government says it will invest $180 million in equipment, intelligence and increased cooperation among security forces with the intent of reducing violence. But in Rio de Janeiro's favelas, or slums, there is fear. These teenagers say they're afraid they'll be killed in police raids, like their friend, 13-year-old Thiago Menezes. Any child walking in a favela can be killed. Just because we are not wearing a t-shirt or shoes, policemen can say they mistook us for criminals and shoot us. Thiago was shot dead by policemen two months ago while riding a motorcycle. One of 28 children and teenagers killed by police forces this year in the state of Rio de Janeiro, all of them in poor neighborhoods. There's nothing like the pain of a mother who loses her child. But what hurts more is the injustice. The police have no right to shoot and kill and then ask questions. After my son, many other children were killed. Residents in poor neighborhoods like this live in constant fear of police raids and shootouts with criminal gangs. But an outburst of violence last month in the northeastern state of Bahia shocked Brazilians. More than 70 people were killed in police operations. Brazil's forces say they're badly paid and equipped to deal with shootouts among increasingly organized and armed drug lords. These images, recently aired by Brazilian television, show drug cartels training their soldiers in a sports court, right next to a school and a daycare center in the Complexo da Maré, one of Rio de Janeiro's most violent slums. What we have seen in recent years are emergency police operations. But what Brazil needs is a continuous action plan a plan involving all levels of government, which will also invest in social measures like education and health care. It is the only way to reduce violence, which is affecting the most vulnerable. Tiago's parents say they hope their son's death has not been in vain and that other children may have a future in Brazil. Monica Yanaki of Al Jazeera, Rio de Janeiro. Make sure to subscribe to our channel to get the latest news from Al Jazeera.